to wake up. In 1 Corinthians chapter 11, verses 20 to 21, it says, So then, when you come together, it is not the Lord's supper you eat. For when you are eating, some of you go ahead with your own private suppers. As a result, one person remains hungry and another gets drunk. Paul was telling the people that they were going about communion the wrong way. The Lord's Supper is communion. It is a time for us to remember what Christ did for us when he died for our sins. Part of remembering is to examine ourselves. It's a time to reflect on the fact that we did not deserve it. Christ did not die for us based on us deserving it. He died for us based on his love for us. In verse 28 of that same chapter, it says, Everyone ought to examine themselves before they eat of the bread and drink from the cup. He tells us again to examine ourselves before taking communion. When we go to a doctor, the doctor is actually looking at us with their eyes and they are examining us without us even knowing it. Then they get tools out and they actually start to look deeper. They also hear what's going on inside of us and they touch, press, poke and prod to see if they can get a reaction from us and to see if they can feel if something is out of place. In this scripture, Paul tells us to do the same thing. Examine ourselves for as much as we can see. Then allow God to be our tools. This requires us to be vulnerable with God. We are to ask him to show us if there's bitterness, unforgiveness, hate, or negative thoughts towards ourselves or others. If he shows us this, we are to ask God to help us to remove it. <clears throat> Excuse me. The reason for this is these things will prevent us from seeing communion as it is. Remembering the death and bloodshed that Jesus went through for us. My encouraging scripture is coming from that same chapter uh, 1 Corinthians chapter 11, verses 29 to 30. For those who eat and drink without discerning the body of Christ, eat and drink judgment on themselves. That is why many among you are weak and sick, and the number of you have fallen asleep. Taking communion without the right heart will have a negative effect. It causes us weakness in areas where we may want to be strong. Areas such as handling our finances, eating healthier foods, managing our time, and choosing friendships and relationships that are good for us. It may cause us to be sick, and it also causes us to sometimes be asleep, which means that we are tuned out to whatever God is trying to tell us to do. It's time to wake up.